This is Muriro on Monday on Star FM. Muriro on Monday. Brace yourself. It's a hard hat area. Star FM sounding good all the time. Thank you for making us your number one. The time now is at 20 minutes before 7 o'clock. Good evening. I am Linda Muriro and uh, back after a short break. It's good to be back. Now, New Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, RBZ, Governor Dr. John Mushayavanu and his maiden monetary policy statement presented last Friday, which has seen introduction of a new currency, have dominated the headlines in recent days as the economy transitions to the Zimbabwe gold zig. The new currency has been described as a fresh start for the economy that presents a new future of exchange rate, inflation and macroeconomic stability, while other the sections have denounced the new monetary measures outrightly. Are the recent um, announced uh, the recently announced monetary policy interventions chief among them the structured currency, the panacea to Zimbabwe's inflation scourge, and gateway to economic turnaround? We discuss this tonight. Stay with us. This is Muriro on Monday on Star FM. Muriro on Monday. Brace yourself. It's a hard hat area. And I'm joined in studio by Monetary Policy Committee member Persistence Guanyanya and uh, economist uh, uh, Professor Gift Mugano, as well as uh, CEO Africa Roundtable economist Tatenda Nyachega and uh, economic analyst Kudzisharara. Gentlemen, good evening and uh, welcome to the show. Good evening, Linda. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? good evening, Linda. Uh, Percy, it's good to see you after a long time. Mm. I've been seeing you on TV and, and, and hearing you on the radios talking about Zig. And yeah, it's good to really have you on the show so that you can uh, uh, shed more light. And uh, we are expecting to be joined by Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers, CZR President uh, Danford Mutashu, as we progress with the show. And as always, we value your contribution. So do send through your messages, uh, any questions that you have on our studio WhatsApp number 0772162651. And uh, after the news at 7 o'clock, I will be opening uh, the phone lines. And I will begin uh, with you, Professor Mgano, your reading, uh, your reflections of uh, the monetary policy statement and, of course, uh, the new structured currency. No, thank you very much. Um, I would want to say that um, the monetary policy statement, which was uh, presented by the governor, let me start on the positive. The interesting features. One, the liberalization of the exchange rate was a good thing. Because um, you remember, Linda, when we were coming here, we were crying about, personally myself, about the command exchange rate, which was through the auction system. So he uh, disbanded the auction system, and uh, we now have a, a free floating exchange rate. That, that's a good thing. And also the, um, the removal of uh, bank charges for uh, amounts uh, amounting about $100. I think it's a good thing because uh, it was a killer uh, on the on the economy. Uh, those are the positives uh, which I want to talk about. I will leave other positive for other colleagues. Uh, but on Zig, my concern on Zig uh, was a similar concerns which I had on bond note in 2016. You remember I was here talking about bond note and uh, the issue was on confidence, was on printing of money, and the uh, bond note failed. Um, regardless of the fact that it was begged by Afri X Bank facility of five four hundred million dollars. So today we have ZIG. Um, yes, it's backed by gold and uh, foreign currency reserves. Um, I have concerns around um, its acceptability and uh, its um, government taking a leading role in um, using ZIG. And I've been arguing in recent days, if you followed my, my, my tweets, that um, as long as we go to the fuel station, we can't get our fuel with the ZIG. Uh, as long as I go to the passport office, I can't use ZIG. Uh, garage is owned by government, no ZIG. Duties, no ZIG. Um, then the ZIG will just die same pathway uh, like um, the bond note. 
All right. So I will ask all of you to give your, your thoughts uh, on this uh, um, um, policy interventions and uh, persistence will have the last go for obvious reasons. He is a member of the RBZ MPC and then he'll respond as he gives his res- uh, refle- reflections to the concerns that you would have raised. Uh, Tatenda, your thoughts on these interventions? All right. Thank you, Linda. Um, just taking a narrative of it, uh, w- 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 when you go through the statement, um, listening to what, to what, what it is offering, in terms of you look on the removal of the bank charges on the value, just like Professor highlighted, $100 notes and the equivalent zig of it. Uh, when you listen to the, I, I think I used to wonder when I heard about the structured currency, what is it all about? But when you now listen to the statement, you are talking of a gold standard uh, system that is coming on board. Uh, the, the, the narrative of it, when you listen to it, it sounds okay. But now the question that will come into, 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 into mind will be the applicability of it or the practicability of it. Because that, 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 that's the question or that's the million dollar question that we have. And uh, so I, I, I wouldn't like to put it as, uh, I've always heard about this term, you are having same old wine, but it's now being presented in a new bottle. Uh, but that doesn't change the, the, the very, very same old wine. So I think uh, when you listen to it, it's a, it's a positive statement. And uh, when you listen to the power and the energy that is with the uh, governor uh, when he's presenting it, you, you, you would say, yes, this is what we are looking forward to. But maybe what, what, what then remains is how applicable, how implementable is this uh, statement going to be? So for now, I will rest on that. All right, and uh, Danford, uh, thank you very much for joining us, uh, President of the Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers. I think since uh, Saturday or late Friday, um, the, the consumers have been unable uh, to purchase goods in retail outlets um, using uh, b- b- the local currency. Uh, and in some uh, outlets, I understand even the USD um, currency as well as has been having challenges. What is the update uh, now? Thank you, Linda. Uh, uh, as the Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers, uh, retailers and wholesalers and uh, general business has uh, embraced the introduction of ZIG. Uh, I'm coming out of an engagement meeting which was held by the Honorable Minister of Industry and Commerce, Honorable Mangaliso and Love, uh, jointly with uh, the Honorable Minister, uh, Deputy Minister of uh, uh, for finance, economic development and investment promotion, Honorable Deputy Kudam Nangagwa, as well as the, the Reserve Bank. And uh, we were engaging just to, to touch base uh, on those issues that you have raised and, and map the way forward. Uh, safe to say uh, the consensus from the various uh, business member organizations that attended, including CZI, uh, ZNCC, uh, Grain Millers Association, uh, etc., you have actually embraced uh, SAF just to, to address the teething problems. Uh, yes, uh, on Saturday, Sunday, uh, we, we had uh, quite a number of uh, retailers and wholesalers reconfiguring their systems because, remember, uh, the ZIG is, is apparently going to be the best, best currency. So that was the process that the IT departments were quite busy with. And uh, yes, I agree, quite a number of customers were inconvenienced during those two days of uh, transition where they could not use their uh, local swipe cards as well as uh, mobile platforms. But uh, I, I'm, I'm happy also to, to, to actually uh, and encouraged to see that uh, some of the mobile platforms have already started uh, uh, you know, are up, actually up and running in, in terms of the local currency. And uh, with banks, we, we, of course, have been coordinating with banks, uh, and we know that uh, as, as retailers, we should be ready uh, by the end of the week to ensure that we are ready to embrace uh, the, the, the wider circulation of the ZIG. And I must also highlight that, yes, the, the notes and coins will be coming out uh, as, 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 as of the 30th, but uh, with immediate effect, as, 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 as uh, this afternoon, I, I think uh, customers will begin or have begun and tomorrow will begin to transact during the electronic uh, uh, platform.
And I think of major concern as far as uh, retail outlets is concerned was around uh, the issue of the pricing, but we'll get to that. Uh, Kudzi, uh, your reading of the situation and everything, uh, Professor Mgano and uh, uh, Tatenda talk about acceptability, applicability. What are your thoughts, uh, Kudzi? Thank you, Linda. Uh, I want to touch on one aspect that uh, probably my colleagues did not talk about. That is uh, the what uh, Dr. Mshayawanu did, which other, well, maybe previous governors uh, had not done, which is to admit mistakes of the past. He admitted that, for example, nations do not grow rich or go rich by, by printing money. It's something that they, uh, probably was not seen as a mistake. You talk of uh, issues of uh, quasi-fiscal act- fiscal activities, uh, where the, the Reserve Bank would go into things that should be done by, by Treasury, for example. And uh, Dr. Mshayawan um, acknowledged that those, those, those things will not happen under his watch. So there are several things, several what you could call, what he called mistakes of the past, things that were happening previously that he said will not happen under his watch. So if he is allowed or if he will walk the talk and also allowed to walk the talk, because there are various stakeholders. They, some decisions are made in cabinet. Remember that he reports to uh, the, 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 the Minister of Finance is still their principal. Some decisions will be made in cabinet and uh, probably will end up uh, with the Reserve Bank doing things that uh, have brought us to where we are in terms of uh, currency disto- uh, uh, depreciation, in terms of uh, hyperinflation. But if he is allowed to walk the talk and if he can stick to his words, I think we have got a better chance uh, than before uh, to have uh, Zig as a success. All right, uh, Kudzishara Rade, uh, commending uh, this admission of uh, mistakes of the past uh, by the new RBZ governor, Dr. John uh, Mushayavan. Now, persistence, this is not the first time that uh, uh, Zimbabwe is uh, witnessing uh, the introduction of a new currency. Uh, it has happened over and over and over again. What has changed now? Uh, what is going to instill confidence, given the confidence deficit that we have in this country as far as the local currency is concerned? Concerned. And then you respond as well to the issues of uh, applicability that have been raised by the other panelists. Thank you. The improvement on uh, Zig currency relates to the fact that it is backed by foreign assets. Currencies previously or in the past were not backed. So because it is backed by foreign currency and uh, precious minerals, it is convertible. That attribute is quite key for the Zig currency. It is convertible to the extent tomorrow, if you walk into a bank with an invoice, a bank is able to honor that invoice from your Zig account, a foreign invoice. Starting, I think, to, today or tomorrow, that is now possible. The ZIG currency is expected to deliver, unlike in the past, because government is also underwritten through even law that currency, that taxes, which constitute demand for the local currency and uh, other statutory obligations are now going to be paid in the local currency. The currency is expected to deliver because the supply of that currency, my brother Kuzi has spoken about the commitment of uh, the governor and uh, what has already happened to beg that commitment in respect of managing or closing the channels of monetary expansion that were driving currency instability. Currency instability is a function of its supply and its demand. So these two aspects have been sufficiently dealt with. And as such, we expect that the ZIG currency is expected to deliver. Yes, there may not be confidence, there may be emotions, CDs from the past 
may still pl- be playing, but those emotions need to be sponsored. They should be a sponsor for the emotions. But the new chief, central bank chief, is committed not to sponsor the emotions because you need money to sponsor those emotions. And and they, as we proceed with the show, we are also not going to be emotional, but we are uh, going to look at the merits and uh, uh, demerits of uh, these interventions from a level-headed uh, point of view. Professor Mgano, your response to uh, what persistence has said? No, thank you, Linda, and thank you, Percy, for your interventions. I think let's be fair here. Um, bond note was backed by foreign currents by a reputable bank uh, called uh, Afro-Exim Bank. So we are raising this because uh, once beaten, twice shy. Reserve Bank, particularly yourself, must admit this. And I like what he could have said, that the governor admitted there were mistakes. So in your intervention, I was expecting to talk about why bond did not failed, and then be able then to proffer what is new, because you are inside, we are outside. And we might not have some information. But... Um, where I sit, uh, Linda, my major challenge is is, is, uh, uh, is one, is a number of, maybe three, quick one. First one, my worry is that we are piling all the pressure and expectation on Central Bank. Central Bank is one arm of government. We need structural policies, um, the recalibrated industrial policies, which are going to be pushing production recalibrated agricultural policies, uh, trade policies, which are going to exporting, p- pushing exports. But the, this uh, framework which has been put by the governor works. So I have not had forums, the way I see forums for Central Bank and Ministry of Finance, where there's a, a review of the industrial policy, what have we done? And I've been crying for this for years. We have a structural problem. I have not had a, a framework on energy how to restore power. It's a big issue. So in as much as the central bank might have enough reserves, uh, they are not going to be printing money. If there's no power in this country, those are upsets which can upset the system. I want to talk about the informal sector. The informal sector is a big thing. It's an economy on its own with its own governor, with its own bank called the Matrix Bank or the Pillow Bank, and and, uh, they have won their Minister of Finance there. And that's where the confidence challenges are. And I was going to submit that, uh, I don't know, maybe when he comes back, he must explain which taxes are going to be in ZIG. Uh, because the one I only had is QPDs, 50% of it will be in ZIG. I would have wanted to see where duty, uh, import duty, uh, going to government should be in ZIG. You know what it is it's going to do? It will help the guys in the tax shops to also accept ZIG. Because they will then need ZIG to pay duty. But as long as government is requesting duty in U.S. dollars, the guys in the tax shop will continue to charge in U.S. dollars, and our civil servants will not be able to buy goods uh, using ZIG. They will go to the black market. I still want to reaffirm the need for government payments and services to be in ZIG. Government must not be shy. They must create a demand for their own currents. Then all of us will join them in using that currents. I submit. And uh, Tatenda, in light of what uh, Professor Mgano is saying, uh, do you think that uh, the RBZ, uh, the governor, uh, have included all the critical monetary tenets in these interventions? Thank you, Linda. Um, w- w- when you look at the, at the monetary policy, uh, it's, it's a function or it's, it's, a, it's a tool that is supposed to be used uh, to correct some, or maybe to 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 manage some key fundamentals in the in the financial sector, and these key fundamental functions or key indicators that we are talking about is the exchange rate. You are talking of, of your inflation, even the financial sector stability. Based on what he presented, he, just like I highlighted at, at the beginning, his presentation touched on all these components where he was trying, where he was pledging, or he was promising. To, to, to say that the, he's going to address all these issues, because I think when you talk the, when you talk of the exchange rate, when you talk of the inflation that we have been experiencing as, as an economy for more than two decades now, that, that's something that has been there for a long time to talk about. 
And this brings us to the question, I think when you started, we talk, you, you, you highlighted the issues to do with confidence. You highlighted the issues to do with trust. I've, when I was listening to him saying uh, he is going to not to listen to the issues to do with the quasi-fiscal activities, uh, yes, when you listen to it, and as an ordinary citizen, you say, yeah, this is what we've been crying for for some time now. But uh, that's a statement which I think personally should be begged by action. And action is, I think there have been a lot of cry for some time now to say, can we have the central bank autonomy? Because you can't say someone, uh, Linda, you've got a child. You bring up this child and she, he or she grows up. Then when she grows up, you expect her to, to say, when you give a command, this child then will say, ah, no, I'm not going to listen to you. But this is the setup that we have. As long as we don't have the central bank autonomy, then we are bound to, to be talking about the same issues, the fiscal deficits being um, met by the, the central bank uh, commitment. I, I think of late we have had so many times where the government have uh, actually taken on board the debt that have been created by the central bank. All then right. I'm going to have to cut you short there as we take a news break. We continue with our discussion after now in Dubai. It is 7 o'clock and Senzo is on standby. Now, Zim Papers Radio Broadcasting Division. Vema bismusi wa yambiru wa kuti vasa kuze mtengo panguwa ino tichiva kumazim dola kuenda kuzig zitarangu nze senzo mpofu ndo paina uzere. Sangano re Zimbabwe retailer zira kuruzira ve zitoro kuti vasa siyane nyaya ye kudurisa zinu panguwa ino nye kaichi chincha kufawa kuma zim dola zikuenda kuzim gold ya arugunzi mazig. Pawa ni matoti atotora muka na we kubira vanu vachi durisa zinu ne ma US dola zi vachi ramba mari ye mazim dola ya kanzi ichashanda kwa mafikima tatu akazara kufa muswa 5 April kusika kunotanga mazig. Shidai zivu, no tengesa neva, no takurava, no kamtare, no nzivai kuramba, mazim dola zivasi dama yosa chet. Watawa ni fenyore diamond FM, muvarati za kushika na pamsoro penya iwa katiba, no awa varuchko ra mti mo njika ya kataris. Ndato tempo tiga oni ni ya transporti, agumusira ndato bata ni zuba murodu. Tunye ma koi nika, juru kuitwa ni wanu ka achi na kutombo naka, zaka shanda, wadu kutowura ya nika ndiyo wanu. Nekuti isusu ma bonde, amu wana ya kushanda, zutu kushanda isa ma bonde, 3,000. So, wamata kishopu wadu kuramba ma bonde, nekuti wadu kutanza wacha shandi kwa zipani, but isusu wangu eda kisa tita ni zigiro. Nekuti tika wapata kishopu, chembo tichiro tenga kana kendo re 50 cent. Nungu wadu kuzunzi, uda chipe ngwe 50 cent ya sara. Ofiti pa 50 cent ya sare baba wapongo nungo chidoto tinga chingu chingu Mahari itwa ya kata isa tanga kushanda kuwa anu musuwa 30 mwezi uno Ndo osa kavano vaine mazua makumaviri neri mwe 21 kumboshani sa mazimdola Nyamzi mune zeotano wezu fuo za kuru zera wari mikuti wangwa rezo uwe rezo nungu na kuwanze uwa ni mishonga Nengi ya shandi soko chiri mwa ya kaita se nitrate poisoning Gwari rinu warimi waka wanda waru kutuwa kazo kupa mombe kana mwazufu Ne kutikune nzara ya kakonzerua ne kusana ya kwe mfura Gwari rinu mafuro mashoma ne kudawe elinino Watunga miri mudono wari masungu wanoti wawe kumba mkumita chaona neze marara kuchitwa ya inonzi recycling Iyo ino itakuti mamu marara asha niswe patwa vanu wachiwana cha uwiri Wa chitaura kuchipa ruwa chirongwa cha waste separation and recycling pa monthly national cleanup exercise pa mcheke bus terminus mazua fura. Kuruko tari zunutika mmasu ingo wa izra cha zamira wakati komiti ii. Icha tari sa zwekare wa nungu rasa marara pese pese zusiripa mtemu. Chaisa komiti ino ugurura kuti muna raunda za atine nge taita clean up campaign sezi Muru kuitu wa basahiru uro ere Saka na kana watino una wari kuita na aro wa singati Tewe zera temo ya urumenti nufara shupi yoyo Uso tika na wako kwa nsa kuita Uso kufuria Wa chita ora wa kungano rimu mnyori mkuru wa kanzuru wa Edward Mukarati uroa Waka rumbiza wa nusikira zurongu wa zwe kanzuru from from 
Ile ma yacht club za tinao, ma yacht club kiwayo, not better amba tisi parata, basara kana kana tripi cha iroro, uye tirambe chita pass on that culture, kwa diki wedu wa ripo. Izang ziri na u, zitarang nonzi senzo mpo fiko sinondo kupa izinda. Inda bagu Zimpapers Radio Broadcasting Division. Ama bismus pa kutazo wa tupa nkalu uwe kweza indengu wa lesi skati kusuwa gumali ya zimto laga sisi ya guzeki. Nika malamu senzo mpo fungu ngidependa pa ngutwele. Mkwa kelewe nisa kaniso ya pezi tolo ya Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers u Denford Mutashu Usai kutazo mwa pezi musu tupa nkalu kweza indengu oku nge lango ndo nge skati ulu nswa utaba loku nge na wenye imali kusuwa wenye. Ilizwe li pagati wa usuga guzi mtola lisea guzi mkoldi e, e, imali e njaibizu wa nguti izeiki. Kuta suda zikereke kese zikila imkuba zikila bandu. Zizalo nje ya bimdare bakalaza kakulu ngota wa luguti hapa tengisa imba la hapa tuwa la bandu sewe funa mayu ya tuwa la upela bimba funizi mtola. Wakumilu msaka zwe diamond fm bakanye be achula kakulu ngumolo ngoba usipa lukulu wepanga le reserve bank of zimbabwe omucha uchoni mshavan ute ama zimto la azave sewenza uza kufige ama figa matatu lelanga elodo imali ya maziki kalisa utengu ngayo mtaka theti kulinyang njalo ekona iza sewenza kumalanga 21 kukaliswa kusukusela mtaka 5 april Ingo chiko zimpila kase zifuyo, sezi kwa isabali mkutipa na nzelele ukupa izifuyo ama shlanga lukunye uge hape kusele kulinyo ngupa kunga inza kala kutikubele chefu ye nitrate poisoning kumele pa na nzelele ukuti hapa kupingu omu akula chefu leo. Omnyo ingichi kukata lezo kulima ute kumele kuna nzelele wa bantu banga tenibe felo wa izifuyo kuna weza mbusisa. Kwenja kama lelo maluchani kakulu mba izu lwa nanga kuli. Inkwa keli kusama lwa sema swingo saizi kutazi ya utukube la makumita za funsa uzulu kukwa keli wa izu kwa shikana saizi vya ubizu nguti recycling kuketwa unga seche nswa kucha. Ikuma kukaliswa lulu daba kusanganswa lilanga le mantel national clean up exercise mcheket past terminals malangazanda kwe lula panda mbozi nzala ima swingo wezi la chazamira ute iku miti za kangela njalo ukuthi akula bantu abalahla izibi mahlayana be uzindaba igama lamu sezombofu libe lokulalela ukuhle Tonight on Faith on Trial we explore the beliefs about life after death and how one can attain it According to us as Muslims death is the destruction soul from the body we talk paradise heaven reincarnation ancestral transition and more as we look at the different views on our spiritual final destination that's faith on trial with et tonight at 8 p.m this is muriro on monday on star fm muriro on monday Brace yourself. It's a hard hat area. Many thanks to Senzo Mpofu for giving us now in Daba. It is eight minutes after seven o'clock and you are tuned to Star FM. Sounding good all the time. I am Linda Muriro and uh, we continue our discussion. I have in studio uh, Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers President Denford Mutashu who you heard there in our news uh, calling on uh, retailers not to hike uh, prices of goods taking advantage of this transitionary period as uh, a service providers uh, reconfigure uh, to ZIG. I also have in studio CEO Africa Roundtable economist Tatenda Nyachega as well as uh, Professor Gift Mugano and Akudzi Sharara. And we have Monetary Policy Committee member Persistence Gwanyanya. So many interesting messages coming through on our studio WhatsApp number and I will be opening the phone lines in about uh, 10 minutes time. Now uh, Persistence, as you heard in our news day, um, some uh, members of the public uh, raising concern around issue Yemari Kumakombi Uko. Um, Zimbabweans have in the past few days been transacting exclusively in uh, US dollars as uh, the country transitions to the new currency uh, following the unveiling, of course, of the gold backed uh, unit by the RBZ. Now, what is the rationale of uh, uh, making a pronouncement on the 5th of April and uh, then expect to have money, the notes in circulation, uh, at the end of the month, as uh, was uh, announced by the RBZ governor that uh, the 
the, the, the notes will begin circulating on the 30th of this month, which is about three weeks uh, from uh, when the pronouncement was made in a country that is uh, largely informalized with an informal sector that thrives on cash transactions. And we have now issues with the communi- uh, commuting uh, public. What was the rationale there behind um, this uh, scenario? Thank you. Linda, Karen's issues are very sensitive. You may not want to preempt, neither would you want to pre-announce a current, because the effect in the market could be quite huge and negative. The approach that I think was taken was to announce the currency and do everything after the currency has been announced. Especially in a market such as ours, which is very volatile and uh, where we have personalities, especially in the social space, uh, that uh, um, normally uh, bend on alarmist uh, uh, um, uh, approaches. Uh, you always want to be very careful but doesn't about this, uh, the uh, currency. Uh, increase appetite for the U.S. dollar? Uh, we've seen in the past few days uh, the public transacting exclusively in U.S. dollars. Kumakwambi is the same thing. Yeah. Doesn't this further exacerbate the situation? Let, let me finish about, you know, the aspect of uh, the Zimbabwean dollar cash you're talking about. We want to be honest. The Zimbabwean dollar cash in the economy is only about 19 billion dollars which calculates to less than or around 500 million that's the quantum of zimbabwe dollar cash in the economy yes we are not undermining we are not uh, 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 we, we, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it's not important that uh, the that constituents that was transacting in zimbabwean dollar needed to be respected but i'm looking at the impact of uh, 500 million 500,000 dollars and uh, against the benefits that uh, we're going to get out of the implementation of the zig currents all right let's allow other panelists yes kudzi before we go to prof mgan yeah thank you linda i think uh, like i said earlier on um, the, the governor admitted mistakes of the past and i think with uh, the delayed introduction of uh, of the fis- fiscal notes and coins i think it's also a mistake uh, it's not the first time that as zimbabwe we are introducing uh, new currencies we have done it before and uh, we could have done it earlier yes i agree with the persistent that uh, uh, the fiscal notes and coins in the in fact we now have uh, fiscal notes only in the economy they are less than one percent right however they they service quite a significant number of uh, commuters, uh, co- the community uh, public that use uh, public transport, and uh, you, uh, we've got issues of confidence. Remember, and you don't want even the slightest uh, uh, um, uh, complaints from people because those are the things that 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 uh, undermines uh, the currency. Uh, as much as uh, uh, the, the, the amount of money, as, as Persistent said, is, is insignificant, but it is saving Zimbabweans. Those people who have been going to work using that money, they've been, they, it was saving them. Some, of, some, some uh, businesses, I'm sure uh, you agree that it was being used as change, and now we don't have that. So I think it was, uh, it was a mistake not to announce uh, or to introduce the, the currencies uh, at the same time as we are introducing the, the ZIG. All right. And uh, Pr- Prof. Mugano, even the impact of them having uh, financial institutions uh, suspending uh, the, the, the local currency uh, transactions, mm-hmm. what is the impact of, of, of this? Even over the two-day period, uh, mm-hmm. we've heard that uh, uh, the situation is now normalizing as they've reconfigured to ZIG but between Friday and now what has been the impact in your view? So the impact has been massive very massive because uh, I followed these events people who are going to hospitals could not transact so we're dealing with the life and death here you're going to hospital you can't make payments you are going to a pharmacy you can't buy drugs so I, I, I 
And you remember we have a current crisis which has already built negative perception to people's minds about any new currency. And um, we need to take this matter very, very serious. Uh, I want to correct my brother, Percy, that uh, you, working in the Central Bank as a Matter Policy Committee member, take these issues home seriously. We shall not defend where we have made mistakes because you only give us assurance we're going to correct it. The issue of currency was not a secret, which he was tra- which is trying to say. His Excellency, the President, he had an interview where he gave a policy direction that in some time early February, that we're going to be having a structured currency. So there was nothing, there's no secret here, and he, he doesn't have to talk about alarmist. Now, alarmist are at work now, if you want to worry about alarmist, because they're very clearly an opportunity. So Central Bank, from that point, they were supposed to start planning. So two things failed at Central Bank. Planning failed, because you can't launch a currency which you don't have. Normally, what we expect, when they launch the currency on 5 April, the banks were supposed to be given the notes immediately. Then, but the second thing which failed is communication. They must strengthen their communication department. You don't need the currency to be introduced when people don't know it. They now have this confusion. The moment these excellence are communicated from a policy direction, we are going to have a strike currency. They were not given a directive. They were supposed then to start now doing community engagement, town hall discussions, to hear people's concerns. So when it comes, now people are ready for it. Now people are seeing it at the point of failure to transact. In your, and your, in the last point I want to raise, they have already promoted the U.S. dollar at the expense of the ZIG. And uh, uh, Tatenda, from a business point of view, uh, the impact of this uh, development on business mm. and uh, uh, th- this two-day uh, disturbance, uh, uh, what has been the impact? I, I would say this two-day disturbance, uh, Linda, because we, we, when you are looking on the mantar policy, mm-hmm. I, I think when you look at the Arab uh, Act, uh, it, it stipulates clearly that uh, the governor is supposed to present the mantar policy twice a year, that is in, Je- in, in December and in June. And when you look at it, in as much as uh, I, I think this whole... Sec- I wouldn't call it a circus or what, but when you look at it, you are appointing a new a new governor and he's coming in around to introduce a new policy around. Uh, this is we are already in May, in April, and when you talk of April, in terms of the strategies that these businesses need to plan, they need to know, they need to be guided by the mandatory policy statement. We have accepted as Zimbabweans that instead of getting this mandatory policy statement as prescribed by the Arab Z Act in December, we we have normalized to say we, then we are expecting it in January or in February. But we get the first quarter is gone, and the statement is not yet out. Then that that creates a, a, a big rift in terms of the planning, in terms of the strategies that the businesses need to 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 to, to have in place, in terms of their investment, their expansion as businesses that have been delayed. And when you talk of this now, it's actually worsening the situation. Was having announcing something, but which is not fully supported in terms of what is expected to be in place. That creates chaos. So that creates chaos and that creates some challenges for business in terms of operating environment. So the business will then do obviously or definitely will be on the crying plea to say things are not in order as is expected of any tool that is supposed to create a better environment or working environment for, for, for the businesses. All right, I will now open the phone lines 0772162651, 0772162651, or 0714414413. I have in studio CZR President Danford Mutashu, CEO Africa Roundtable, economist Tatenda Nyachega, uh, an economist, Professor Gift Mugano, as well as uh, Kudzi Sharara and uh, Arabiz at Monetary Policy Committee member Persistence Guanyanya as we talk about the new uh, structured currency um, which was uh, uh, announced as the new Arabiz governor presented his maiden monetary policy statement on Friday. Uh, now the phone lines are already buzzing but before I take a call at Danford uh, we heard you in that uh, uh, in our bulletin making that call on uh, retailers and other uh, business operators not to take advantage of the situation uh, by adopting uh, rent seeking behavior and other uh, malpractices what measures are they or have you put in place as uh, as the confederation of zimbabwe retailers to ensure uh, that this does not happen uh, the confederation has uh, rallied behind government uh, the central bank and all the policies that are put in place what are you then doing to rein in your members 
Well, uh, I think uh, what we have done is to ensure that uh, the prices in U.S. dollars that were existing before the propolis pronouncement remain. Uh, and in the main, I think uh, most of the former shops have maintained those prices. And uh, even when we checked with uh, the informal shops like the downtown tax shops, we, we did not see uh, price changes in U.S. dollars, even in the absence of, uh, of the local currency. So I think that is that is a call that was uh, taken heed of by the players, and it's something that is quite encouraging. And uh, yes, I, I, I may also want to, to, to highlight that as, as a sector, we are uh, one of the biggest you know, implementers of this uh, ZIG currency, and hence the necessity to engage just like we, we, we had today and uh, continuing to do so in the future. Why? Because uh, it, it will then shape the right narrative before the social media has taken this storm to, to try and share. A lot of it, uh, you know, the, the, the what was shaped and shared on the social media, a lot of it may not be factual, but consumers would have consumed that. And, of course, the glitch is that we experienced when customers walked in trying to purchase and their swipe cards were not working. I think we should have prepared our consumers. We should have prepared the public, the members of the public better because on a Friday, you, you, you know, the policy is announced in, in the afternoon. And after the announcement, uh, it takes Im immediate uh, you know, implementation, especially by the financial institutions and the mobile platform companies. They immediately stopped uh, and rather discontinued the local currency platforms. And that affected a lot of consumers. Even today, a number of uh, customers, a number of uh, you know, workers struggled to get to their uh, workstations because they didn't have uh, sufficient money uh, in, in, in the local current. They didn't have actually. And those that could not have the U.S. dollar it, as it were actually suffered more because others could alternatively use a dollar, for, and, but they were charged uh, you know, a dollar for a trip of 50 cents. So those are some of the areas that would now have to look at going forward. But I'm happy that government is quite listening, and uh, even the engagement that I, I, I highlighted, it was all-encompassing, all-inclusive, and with, uh, with, with the view to try and correct and also commit uh, by, by both sides. Business is committed to embrace uh, the, the ZIG. Government is also co committed not to print money, uh, also to depart from the previous, uh, previous uh, uh, issues uh, that uh, a lot of people complained about, the quasi-physical uh, quasi uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, issues that we complained about. And this is something that is quite positive. Even the Market determined exchange rate is something that we have been calling for as business and something that government has given to. And let's let's move forward because already we have seen issues that have happened, but we need to move forward as a country. Let's go on, embrace the zig, try and make it work, and act as we improve on all the areas that are being brought up. All right, I will take the phone uh, phone calls now as we continue to zig deep into the issues. Star FM, good evening. Yes, mani raganaga. Mani ruma pina mchirongwa taura zvenyu. Mungwedza kuti ganga gati conceptora vamwe vatererera vakati o. Zvakanaga riri ntore ndichikasika, right? Ini ni muonero wanguoka. Ndoye kuti kuti mari dzeri dzirambe dzinyasa zvanda zvakanaga yo maziga kuya akati naikira fun but chinongodiwa chete kuti zvinhu zviende mune zvakanaga gachiti SMA imports achapinda kunyika. O apa mwajaji vari maziga but the moment kuti ma imports achapinda kunyika I want to note that I don't know if I'm going to Let's take some more calls. 0772162651. Uh, Star FM, good evening. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. You're through to the program. Go ahead with your contribution. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm disappointed. You know what? Hey, they launched a current. Right now, uh, they are saying uh, it's about 75 uh, billion what what of RTGS in circulation, which is cash. Right now, ma 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 small, you can attack shop, ma ma ma. If you go to attack shop right now, they are not taking ma ma bond notes, and it is required asset cash source. Go number one, number two, you can uh, launch a currency. Inini musi na alternative, kuti akarenzi atiku kulonja, ine mari ipi. 
yon it just it just huya in in three weeks, which means uh, they are just trying to na guti how deep are we? Kuno shiki kai, which is wrong. Uh, number three, uh, let the go- government accept uh, uh, this zig. It is even much better than payment. Nezig right now, my guests are talking about the US. Um, uh, we 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 import a motor from the US. We are going to get the US. Saka, what's the meaning of introducing this current? Thank you. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Let me take some more callers before I go back to my panelists. Sorry, Femilo. All right, the numbers are zero seven seven two one six two six five one zero seven one four four one four uh, four one three. Now, uh, Percy, uh, the, the RBZ governor did say that uh, uh, the Reserve Bank was taking all the necessary steps to ensure that the public was not prejudiced and that there was value preservation and transactional convenience during the transitional period. Maybe you could take us through these steps that were actually um, put in place by the RBZ. But before you do, let me take some more. Call star Hello. Yes, are you through to the program? Go ahead. Thank you so much. I just wanted to contribute to this. If you massive servants, the Tambir and the Tigam. Utambira Zig. Utambira Zig. Automatically, instead of which are few, instead of which are out in a black market, with Zig and I have put in a few. Right. That's only my contribution. I right. uh, Hello? Hello, yes, go ahead. Murkunz, we kira kurem koma, sorry, she knew Star Family. Hello, Maskara. Taskara Maskara, my pindam chung, what are you? Um, Nyayama, big yo yiga, chair kunet and the chokuti, isusu, kuti, the kuti, acha senge, iri, dupadora, eh, inesenge, akamira seng, tuba kumira, tukumira, tuba bot, tonangu, no, no, no confusion. Shakare, Marie, Marie, the chonu, the tit. Energy, the pinda mu supermarket won bend us. Ranga Jiramba Mabondi, why I made men and say a cavan de Kuti, Doranga Jinji, sixty thousand bond. Of which is the essence, no possible to tell me some sorrow. Takuto says, Doctor Biro, what to eat was a mabir, what I can get what before. Saka, please, Gaba or no, so Peter Kuti, Imari, no Shanda cannot wire foot with the Bira, the Mabira Katita. I watch not ten the church on the Funga Zenu and enter him with terror work pets and send them down to Guanyan yesterday. Linda, good evening. Good evening, you're through to the program. Go ahead. Okay, uh, my issue is on, uh, like, uh, as you can see, like, uh, the government is, like, doing ambush to its citizens. You see, could you marry, you know, the Abu Dandit? Pass time, you don't know if you are time, you know, the consultation in my communities, you know, who analyze my reaction, my features, and everything. One of them the Mariato Buddha says, as you can see, like now, my transactions are sweet. And it's, they are families and individuals who are who are in trouble right now because their man is in transaction. And if they can't transact, they can't buy anything, of which is bad. So our confidence, the thing is, Mr. Mgano, Ruti, Marino, Ruti, you know, built upon the confidence, name our citizens, and we come normally. But the confidence, I should not so I could say, can a government is to ambush like this. Thank you. I want to note that you have heard persistence, uh, the concerns that are being raised. I want the concerns that are being raised. I want to note that you have heard persistence, the concerns that are being raised. I want to note that you have heard persistence, the concerns that are being raised. in terms of my levies are not charged. And then all of a sudden, I want to know that you have heard persistence, the concerns that are being raised. I want to note that you have heard persistence, the concerns that are being raised. I want to note that you have heard persistence, and gare ni ma USD pas pepilo senge shitaona pa, pa, pa mazula makisho maiwa yae kuti ndiwe ino kwanza unge ichishanda as you respond to the issues that have been raised by the callers who are coming through Th- thank you Linda there is nothing perfect in the world but uh, you always want to look at things on balance admittedly the change over 
or the introduction of the zig currents was not perfect or is not perfect but you always want to take comfort from the fact that the central bank is taking its time to try and come up with a policy that will address the concerns of the public today and in the future. The central bank is trying to come up with a permanent solution to our cash challenges. Yes, we have got issues that we are complaining about, which issues I think I will be able to take back to Reserve Bank. But it will be it will be comforting to each other when over time you would be able to look back and say, ah, we suffered for a purpose. Ah, we sacrificed for a purpose. That will only happen when this current delivers permanent, permanent solution to our cash challenges, to our, our current challenges. As it is, the current, the, 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 the monetary policy itself, I see it as sound enough to achieve permanent current solution. And to that extent, I am more encouraged to say, let's sacrifice for the challenges that we are facing as we implement this currency, some of which are unavoidable, some of which were beyond even the central bank's control. All right. And uh, Tatenda, over the, the years that we've had uh, the currency changes, we've had, we've seen the central bank uh, embarking on uh, awareness uh, uh, campaigns to then educate and actually announce launch dates, but without disrupting um, the prevailing uh, transactions and modes of payments and what have you. What have been the problems with that kind of arrangement in the past, if any, as uh, persistence has alluded to? Because we did hear um, the RBZ governor saying that uh, uh, they were uh, going to to really have the notes uh, b- b- being in circulation on the 30th of April uh, to allow um, to undertake intensive educational and awareness campaigns on the key security features and what have you. But in the past, we've seen this happening prior uh, to, to 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 the changes. What what have been the problems with such a scenario, if any at all? My my, my take, Linda, on this is um, when we when you're looking at the I've always said a, a, a policy-making process a, or the policy-making, it's a process, not an event or a once-off thing. But I think because of uh, the nature of our economy and what has been happening of late, I think we have, we have had a lot of complaints around the statutory instruments where today when you think to, to change on something, then you just say we are going to have an SI and it's in place and it's now a law. But... Uh, under normal circumstances, just like we're highlighting previously or years ago when you, when you talked about introducing a new currency, it, it's supposed to be, the, the policy making process is supposed to be inclusive. And by inclusive, it means you have to take the, 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 the consumers or the citizens through the owner in order for them to honor a, 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 either a, poli, a, a, a policy or a strategy you have to take you have to be with them from the beginning but a, as you could hear from the responses that we or the calls that we're getting from our um, listeners there, there are a lot of issues that that are coming and to be honest if we are going to do a quick survey today or tomorrow and asking people how do they view this new current or this new policy that have been uh, ushered by the central bank governor what you hear, Linda, is that people reflect and they will tell you that this is just like the same old days where we have heard about the zeros being slashed, but it's the same thing. That's why I said this whole element, when you listen, when you listen to the policy statement, yes, it sounds well, but the practicability and applicability of it, you begin to see the flaws. When you look at the processes of, go- of coming up with this, with this policy, you can't just announce something to people without engaging them, without consulting them. Then you expect it to build confidence. You expect it to build trust from the same people that you're ambushing. But right. as it is, it's an ambush. All right. Uh, Kudzi, you'd like to come in before uh, I, I take in some more calls? Uh, thank you, Linda. Yes, uh, admittedly, uh, there are mistakes that have been made uh, in terms of uh, the introduction of, uh, of, of ZIG. 
but I also want maybe to put myself in the in the shoes of the of the central bank. Mm. Uh, we must also uh, be uh, cognizant of the fact that uh, it is the first time that we are having a new currency being introduced at the same time that we are getting a new governor. Mm. Uh, there is also the issue that um, the previous governor, Dr. John Mangujga, was his term was supposed to end at the end of April. And uh, Dr. Mshayan was supposed to assume his, uh, his, his tenure at the end of, uh, at the end of April as well. Mm. But uh, the market economic agencies were now getting impatient in terms of the delays in uh, announcing the monetary policy statement. Mm. And I think that could have... Remember that uh, the, the, the tenure of uh, Dr. Mshayan was moved forward by a month. And I think it's also those pressures where the business community was saying, how do we operate without a monetary policy statement? And I think that could also have led to them introducing some of these things uh, now. But even though I don't think we could have introduced and said with immediate effect, we could have still uh, introduced by, by giving people time for the, for, for, for the changeover. I also want to highlight there's an issue that my colleagues have been saying to say, um, uh, even on social media, people were saying, for as long as Zig doesn't buy fuel, then it is dead in the water yes, and I many other, and many other aspects. Mm-hmm. To that, to um, I think the mandate for the central bank is for uh, exchange rate and price stability. The issue of uh, what currencies pays for what, like the issue of fuel, for example, the issue of other things like passports, for example, it is uh, the purview of uh, the fiscal authorities. So my expectations are that the Minister of Finance, remember that the structured currency, uh, that we are moving to the structured currency was uh, announced post the budget statement. And I think it is the Minister of Finance must now come uh, maybe with a statement with supporting measures of uh, this monetary policy statement. I don't think we have to wait for the midterm um, uh, budget. I think it's uh, as soon as they can, as soon as this week, they should announce supporting measures, issues of uh, do we pay for fuel using, uh, using ZIG. I think they have got confidence enough. If the governor said that there's only 80 million in the, in the, in the, in the market, I think there is no problem in, in allowing those with that 80 million to buy fuel, for example. Yeah, so, so I think the, 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 the uh, Treasury should come in, step in, and give uh, some, some supporting measures to this monetary policy statement. And uh, Prof. Mugano, what other measures are you expecting uh, for us then to see that applicability of uh, the new currency, uh, adding on to what Kudzi has said before I allow persistence to come in? No, thank you very much. So... For me, it's about uh, it's creating demand for, for, for the currency, which I would want to add on to what uh, uh, Kudzi was saying. But uh, I would want to also talk about Treasury. Right? Uh, treasury is pumping money in the market uh, on the Zim dollar component they used to pay for service providers. I'm aware, of course, that uh, they are paying some of the components in US dollars, uh, which could be reaching 20, 80%, but 20% of an elephant, which is remaining Zim dollar, is a big thing. So I think as a, as a follow-up to what Kudze said, Treasury should also uh, give us assurances on how they're going to be dealing with infrastructure financing in particular, so that there's not excessive liquidity in the market. Because the moment this there's excessive liquidity in the market, uh, then people go on the black market. My last point I want to raise, I have raised this on on various platforms and people were dismissing it that uh, people in the first early stages of this currency should be able to walk into the bank and be able to change their ZIG into US dollars. It's a crazy idea because it looks like it's not a normal thing to do in other countries. But we are Zimbabweans. We have challenges because people still want US dollars. So if they cannot go and change it in the bureau to change and in the banks uh, when they are paid the same dollars, right? And uh, they would want to buy groceries uh, at tax shops and assuming that at the fuel again, there's no prices in, in, in US dollars. They will go on the black market and that will continue to sustain pressure on the ZIG. And uh, I would want Central Bank to look at this. I heard the governor saying that he is a non-starter when he was presenting the monetary policy statement. But I would want him to really look at this view. All right. Persistence? Uh, uh, thank you. Let me emphasize that a properly crafted monetary policy will help the market rally behind the objectives 
of the economy. You're talking about uh, the purchase of fuel and other necessities in in Zig. I take I get the impression that um, or I, I I get the analysis that because we know the total amount of Zig in the economy at ninety million and we are still in the multiple currency regime you are allowed to use whatever currency you want but demand for the currency from treasury who is now uh, required uh, on stage on uh, QPDs to collect 50% initially from uh, the income t- taxes and this amount is around 150 million who show everyone in the economy the door of what is expected. Now, you are a service station and uh, you are insisting in US dollars. And June, you are having to pay this, the, the QPDs. And we know there is a shortage of uh, 80 million or so for the QPDs. Yes, we have not targeted an individual But we looked at the whole economy, that with the setup of the monetary balance in the economy, it will cause everyone in the economy to accept the ZIG currency as they want to meet the demand for the ZIG, especially on statutory obligations. What that means is you will have to sell in ZIG. Otherwise, come June, when Mukoma George one is taxes. You are unable to pay the taxes. And guess what? You have to approach your bank and maybe the bank doesn't have the zig. So where does the bank need to the bank needs now to approach the reserve bank? And reserve bank will dictate the rate. Remember it's a market. Reserve bank will tell you my rate is one is to seven. That is when you the market starts to see uh, why they needed to be selling in zig so we use police we don't force much the people into doing what we want you achieve your objectives through a properly crafted police and we see this as one such all right, and before Professor Mgano comes in, uh, Danford, we've seen in, 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 in the past uh, uh, few months or so uh, certain goods uh, disappearing or off completely uh, shelves of some major uh, retail uh, outlets uh, with the uh, suppliers opting for kumatakshu, piko, kukuninyayema, payment, ngrikini modes and things like that. How will these new uh, b- 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 measures um, affect that uh, scenario yo, yo, in your view as a uh, decision? E, Linda, ina uye kuti mamanufacturer Thai damari Uye kuti vano oda zinu kunze wenyika mm. Foreign currency mm. Iyo yangaisa sawa ni kwe Kuinda bengi ni kwa auction Vamo waka tuwe ndi samari kwa auction Waka kuna wakubadaro Asi chino faza linda niche kuti urumende na asi Musangano wa taita Yavi mbisa kuti Vakaende samari wachino participate pa auction Wane mari ziri kukuma banga ni kwa rabiziti Vacha wongoro wa wane kwa kuti zino sufamis kwa sii mabadari wa wacha itu kwa mm. Zisinga kuonzele inflation number one Number two Ichinoti fadza za kare ndiche kuturu Mende ya vimbisa kuti Kana ui ine genuine invoice mm. Yeku badara e for a foreign, e foreign import Ukaenda kubengi kwa ako Bengi richa kubadara marioyo Zisina kana jinezkwa Inde chivimbisu chaka itu zakare na Dr. John Mshayavan. Chivimbisu zicha itu ni treasure. Shandafari la linda ndiche guti. I, musangano watai ita wanga wine Ministry of Industry and Commerce. Mm. Wanga wine treasure. Wanga wine reserve bank. Saka ma, i, ma, ma arms of government wa ya hari matatu. Aka fambi zana, achijigi zana, achita na urirano. Ni kukurukura ne bizimus. Zuno batsira paku visa mingwe mifungo ya kawanda ya ngairipu. So menze niso, kana manufacturer achingono wana foreign currency yake kubengi. Invoice yake inifuli uchi badaro. Hapana nidi ya kuti aende ku black market. 
saka black market yanga ichi create wanenya ya kuti papa chitko ma peaceful payments kuna manufacturer enda ne invoice for example ye, ye, ye 3 million bengi room titi nokupa 500000 zvakura kuti balance anofana kuno yewana samwe aenda kumusika mtema saka izvo zvo tirikuona sekuti zvichauraya black market nekuti ma invoice zai anze anenga ari fully funded all right prof mgano you'd like to come in yes yes and ndanga wedzira paita ora pese kuti Reserve Bank yes ipana nga pana chokwa ade kuti vari kutarisa kuti mbenki maumune 80 million equivalent asi hava asi kutarisa eh, ku government where they must advise advisor rogue minister of finance saka ini ndi chinzwa zvaite vara pesi zvi eh ndiri kuona ari kusaya divi redambu dzikoro chava ku minister of finance ndiri kubadira ma contractors excessive liquidity ndiyo inoita kuti vano Marie wanda in circulation yemuna yeah, liquidity and money supply they are related so as long as what could they say that there is no supplementary measures coming from treasury zinofana ku support this monetary policy we are going to stay with the challenge of too much money in the market caused by treasury apana secret up the moment we see a lot of activities are in the roads construction like the last few weeks red yakatiza it was only because of central bank It was because of treasury pumping money in the market as long as treasury is paying my roads in cash ngarutenga chingwa eh azvishu zvakamboshanda eh treasury must use long term finance to finance roads like diaspora bonds as an example public private partnerships ndo pane dambudziko so i want him to go back and uh, advise the governor to say as the role of the central bank in advising minister of finance They must nip their own challenges so they don't have offset what he was talking about. All right, as a, a, Tatenda, I'd like I'd li- before persistence I'd like you Tatenda to come in and respond to what Professor Mgano has said. Uh, another uh, business mind has written uh, that uh, was sharing his uh, comments online saying that the biggest problem is foreign companies um, who are slowly dominating the Zimbabwean economy and are allowed to repatriate a hundred percent of their profits out of Zimbabwe. So they either transact in dollars or they take their local currency to the black market and hoard dollars or gold in order to repatriate their profits uh, your comment to that and what professor mgano has said um nyadze ma payments ma contractors and 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 what have you uh, before kudzi and then persistence come in so thank you linda um to begin with uh, or maybe look, reflecting on what professor mgano had uh, highlighted i i think one of, one of the major um issues or challenges that we have been facing as an economy when you talk of the exchange rate when you talk of the inflationary environment is to do with one aspect that you've mentioned is is to do with the, the issues of uh, the project that have been happening and these projects are being paid in local currency and this local currency is will be definitely be a printing aspect and once you print money that then you are talking of increased money supply this will, uh, the end game will be a high exchange rates and you talk of your inflation and besides this i think w- when you re- reflect on it recently i think we opened our tobacco um floors and uh, when you compare the statistics of the figures in terms of what have been happening last year and w- the values that are being um, a- actually experienced at, at the current moment you see that there was an increase or a jump in terms of the the exports that was happening or that we realized in terms of our tobacco sales so and with 25% of that being paid uh in in local currency then you would explain where this whole exchange rate and inflationary environment was coming from that's number one to uh, to to respond or maybe to add to what professor mgano was saying then secondly i think when you listen to the uh, monetary policy statement is uh, pronounced by 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 the governor the multinational organizations are exempted when it comes to the issues of local currency and uh, Honestly speaking I was looking at it in, in in the afternoon to say we history tells us that United States of America actually used the standard uh gold aspect around 1944 when they joined the Bretton Woods and the only reason that they withdrew from that was because uh, they were actually losing in terms of the stocks or in terms of the reserves of gold being shipped out of the out out out, out, out of the country in the name of repatriating the the the, the money that they, that they could have so i think that that's a huge concern that is being raised to say these multinational companies as long as you've given them free play to say you they can transact in the us dollars the next thing is 
the issue of leakages will, ne- will never stop it. I think there have been a huge con- cry in terms of leakages, in terms of illicit financial flows. That's where they come into play. And uh, do we have mechanisms in place to keep issues to do with the leakages, wh- which are related to this uh, whole element of uh, allowing especially multinational companies operating in, 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 in U.S. dollars. And uh, Kudzi, uh, a point made earlier on by Danford, Uyekuti uh, Roni, Panema engagements in Sangani Yaitwa, where government uh, was promising Shinushichabatika, but we've seen in the past, Mamwe Makambani Maombe, Aywana Mari Kuvaku, Kuku, Forex auction system, Yoyo, but it's Still, that you know, so no, it's a uh, unscrupulous behavior. Yo, you could have won a forex very cheap as still work with the meeting. Go a shisinga and irani a nekuana covering the forex. What guarantee is there? Kuti she could have won a navam tashu is nishita batika and the shinoita out in my prize as you know, a stabilize a mumumumumashto mustoro shedu. I think uh, it comes back to the issue of um, enforcement mm-hmm. and and also not looking at uh. What I think, I think, I think Dr. John Sharon spoke about it to say, uh, this is not an animal farm where, uh, Denford comes, he's got, he gets some favors in terms of if he's, 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 he's indisciplined, but because it's Denford, yes, <laughs> he's, 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 he's left like that. Uh, he said they, is, this is not an animal farm, everybody will be treated the same way. So it's, it's an issue of, uh, making sure that uh, holding each other accountable. Uh, he spoke about, uh, the three arms of, of, of government. You are holding each other, um, accountable. And I also liked, uh, something that, uh, for now, I have to take his word <laughs> for it. That's all we have. I would even, I would have even loved to say when you are saying our currency is begged by God, I would have loved a credible, probably currency body to be there just to give us that assurance. But uh, Dr. Mshawan is confident of himself that he can deliver without the need of a, of a, of a currency board. I also like something that he said. He said that I won't be doing other people's jobs, and he was asked to say we are in a drought season. What if government comes and say we need to pay for grain? And he said, "You are building a dam. You are, bu- you are building roads. Stop those and f- and make sure that people survive." You know, if <laughs> if he can uh, walk the talk in terms of that, to say, "Okay, yes, there is a drought. Yes, there is COVID. But instead of printing money, let's for now postpone the building or construction of a dam and use those facilities because as government you don't have money and I'm not going to print for you. If if that is if that happens then we are going somewhere. But it's all as he also said that the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So all right, I'll take my last <laughs> round of callers before uh, we come back and give our uh, parting remarks. Yes, hello. Yes, uh, good evening. You're through to the program. Go ahead. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Linda. Right. Um, Linda, let me touch on this issue here, where, where we are looking into the, 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 the new currency, the ZIG, coming through. Um, what, what the Arabs that should actually have understood is that the currency is not about the, the, the governor himself saying he has confidence, but the, it, it should be the other way around now. People themselves saying we have uh, confidence in this currency because this uh, hide and seek game they are trying to play with people we are going back to, 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 to square one where we are saying the people do not like the currency and the currency will fail because of the people and that is uh, the, the bottom line and the second issue there is um, we should actually look at a situation where we are saying if we want to use the currency we have to use it across board. Not, uh, not saying the Z cannot be used, saying on buying fuel, but it can be used on, on such and such a thing. It cannot be used on such a thing. And if we are only to introduce a currency with those limitations, honestly, people will always uh, prefer a currency trust that it can go in, on any other place and business, just like the USD. Uh, thank you so much, Inga. All right, thank you very much uh, for that uh, contribution. Zero seven seven two one six two six five one. I will. I am taking my last round of callers. Star FM, hello. Star FM, good evening. Good evening, is that um, Star FM? Yes, it is. Go ahead with your contribution. Okay. Yes, my contribution is. Uh, uh, don't you think, uh, Linda, the uh, the currency? 
because the Pani Mari Igos in Nepoi, Igos in Wamawe Kazi. Um, do you think of the other do the inflation? Because in them, Mepo, I like taking, I like Chiaka one is a good anchor, that is it. Yamor put in them, Mepo, and the Epicha, you saw that and this all, it are my assumptions. In them, Green India, like, uh, the Ivy, the Ivy, Green Arachi. Right. I want to the inflation because you know, like we are getting, we are paid in that in that money and when we are before the when the black market kuno kuno take up my US using in you are at the JV it is very high rate. I want to know that I should regard Shagonswa a MPC member by Chipindura Stephen Hello Stephen Gridney. Yes, you're through to the program. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, sure. That in this little conversation, I'm going to have a problem. Ah, yeah, yeah. You know, and this one happens. We see some of the part of the constitution, and because part of the people forget to have a mistake, part of the government is you are like part of the government. You have to go to change. I'm going to go to change. Part of the people are constitution. I'm going to constitution. I'm going to change. Can I see the constitution? Because the constitution has to be followed. Those names are with the Passover Nema Eras. Because Musaka Zimbabwe, 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 we read. So, the Zimbabwe have compared the Zimbabwe, Nita Tinika, Nina Ketinitis Verena. So, we lose confidence. Muchin, which can go Tangaku, it will pass in a mamma. Panama Malukus are in constitution and in Gasin. I was not in the church or a gaiti gons guanya and jizirimu no kuti a pa constitution yacho mitemo yakate zero kushka pa pachina no chipi eva changi va chipindura. I'll take my last two callers on zero seven seven two one six two six five one star for Linda, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Go ahead with your contribution. Fine. I, I've got a question to to Professor Mgam, then to persistent. Go ahead. Yeah, what, to Professor Mgan, what is it that is needed for a currency to be accepted globally? That's my question. All right, so, I'm... To, persist, to persistent, is there anything that is being done by RBZ and the government to ensure that our currency is accepted a uh, global? In India, the big rank 2000. I can gladly go to South Africa and look at my not in the ground and the people are running down the pool. Same applies to the people who are running down the pool. I can't go to the people who are running down the pool. I can't go to the people who Is there any, any strategy in place to ensure that our currency is globally accepted? I watch not in the church on him, Vunzo, Yava, we are now here, Kuvuns, watch even for what's up, Papa Kuti, Zigir, and no Kwanza cross an arrow board, Dairish, at no go, not Kapinda Mabanga, Muno, a Paninke Paka display, one exchange rate, Pai, Rand, no Rona, Pula, no Rona, Pound, no Rona, M. Terrongo, Pedzera, Stephamelo. Hi, Linda. Hi, good, you're through to the program, go ahead. Thank you. So, my contribution goes towards perseverance. He seems to be playing an advocacy role for the Arab business instead of ex- explaining the fundamentals of economics to the nation. He's doing a good job on behalf of the Arab business, but it's not helping the nation. So he needs to learn from other contributors like Professor Mugano, who is laying out the simple fundamentals of him- economics. So for as long as we can't buy fuel, we can't pay for our passports using the big then it's a waste of time. And like what was said by one of the presenters, we have yes, several currencies backed up by different items, public drinking facilities. And where are we now with the uh, bond not? So those are simple issues that we need to be addressing. And being ambushed like this will not help us as a nation. We need to move as one family. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to cut you short so that we have the responses to the issues that you have been raised. I will start with you, uh, Professor Mgano. Mungwa ti gagaga mchipindura mvunzwe mavunzwe wati shitongo tenderera tishaso pezira na ye persistence. No, thank you very much. So kutimare it kwe accepted regionally. I would want to avoid globally because that's too much ambition. 
because uh, it therefore need world banking. It was meant to be global currency, and there are very few currencies which are in the global basket. But in the region, our currency has to be backed by production. We need a productive economy f- for us to reclaim the status of uh, the w- one which we had in 1996. Um, everything which we are doing here uh, is, is a challenge. I also want to say that um, it's important that uh, we also pay emphasis to monetary policy, to, to industrial policy, trade policy, and other sector-specific policies than emphasizing only on the Reserve Bank and the Minister of Finance. That's why we are missing it. That's why you see it through change currency on Gaiembe. You know, through Vapane currency, it ended up on a currency. Because I can't go to the Reserve Bank yet. There are limitations which central bank can go. They cannot go beyond what can be done by Minister of Industry and Commerce. They can't go beyond what should be done by Minister of Agriculture, Minister of Mines, and the, even the Minister of Energy. The Minister of Transport. So that is very important for it to be taken home by government, because I also know they listen to this program. Yes, Tatienda. All right, Linda. I just want to add, uh, or maybe to respond to the question, constitution, and uh, that, that's law. I think I've highlighted our Arabizet Act. It stipulates that the governor is supposed to present uh, the monetary policy statement twice a year, in December and in June. And why can't we be like any other country where, 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 where you know that poli- a policy continues regardless who is in, o- in the office? So, yes, in as much as we acknowledge that Dr. Mangushka was leaving office, mm-hmm. but why can't he craft a policy mm-hmm. which when Dr. Mshawan comes into, into office, continues with the same policy? Good. All right, uh, Kudzi. Uh, as we add your parting remarks, uh, thank you, Linda. I think I, w- I would want to support uh, or to agree with what uh, Professor Mganu said in terms of uh, uh, industrial policies, trade policies. As we speak, uh, our exports uh, volumes were significantly down in 2023. I think uh, I, I think they dropped sharply. For example, platinum uh, earnings dropped by 37%. And, uh, and, and I think that will give pressure to the exchange rate. So no matter what you do in terms of trying monetary policy, fiscal policy, but if you are not producing, uh, for you to earn that foreign currency, you still have, um, uh, exchange rate challenges. So I think there is need to look at what uh, Professor Mgano was talking about in terms of industrial policy and, uh, and, and trade policy as well, uh, because we need the foreign currency. And, uh, as Zimbabwe, we are only, uh, we rely a lot on, on our minerals. And I I'm happy that when you look at the monetary policy statement, it points to the fact that uh, in terms of our agriculture based imports, they grew. But what else can we do to make sure that uh, we, we earn more from, uh, from our agriculture as well? Right. Uh, in Ndingatitinoda wa John Mushavan, Dr. John Mushavan. Tishivati basandiruri, sangana ine ma stakeholders, sangana ine ma tengi, sangana ine ma business, ne ma stakeholders akasia na siya. Tinotende. Alright, persistence, as we end the program, the concerns... Uh, th- th- thank you. L- yes. Let me start by addressing Dr. Mugano say, concern about the role of government in current instability. And uh, try to shape the characterization of the problem and understanding of the problem. I hope you may you want to know that since 2018, I think from 29 thereabouts, government has been living within budget. The government has been... No, please, don't say, lie. Say, say right. budget we, we are going to allow him to talk budget and end the program. They have always been managed at below 3%. And now for a long time, below or around 1.5%. So the biggest challenge has always been on the supply of foreign currency, which has been addressed now with the, the accumulation of foreign reserves. The biggest challenge has always been on the rejection of the Zimbabwean dollar. So a combination of these two is what has been sustaining currency instability. But we have seen from this monetary policy statement that the two have been uh, uh, addressed. Then the 
question about uh, uh, his question on why do we allow international uh, um, institutions or so we are in a multiple current system and uh, we should respect that multiple current system i think there's an element of uh, respecting the law and the constitution we should respect that multiple current system and as policy makers you use policy to achieve your objectives you don't want to force much people into uh, what you want to achieve but you use the policy which is exactly what this monetary policy statement seeks to achieve and also on the aspect of the legalities you would find out that uh, even the issue of government spending outside the the legal parameters is governed by uh, legal statutes and uh, they've actually been uh, working within uh, uh, those statutes but uh, before i close i think uh, there's a question that was asked about uh, the exchange rates that were used or that are going to be used the zimbabwean dollar in the account is going to be exchanged at an exchange rate of around one is 2500 and this is not term sagged and to convert from the us dollar to the the zig an exchange rate of 13.56 and this is also not term sagged but it takes from the fact that our currency is now linked to gold and as such the price of gold changes in the price of gold are going to be then factored into the changes in the exchange rate because this currency is linked to gold and we have sufficient reserves we expect this currency to be to be accepted regionally we expect this currency to be accepted because it is convertible Thank you very much. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my guests, uh, Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers, President Denford Mutashu uh, and uh, Tatenda Nyachega from thank CEO you. Africa Roundtable, Economist Professor Gift Mugano and Economic Analyst Kuzisharara and uh, MPC uh, Member Persistence Gwanyanya as we were discussing uh, the new currency and the recently um, presented uh, uh, the, the, uh, monetary policy statement by Arabi Zeta. Uh,